The Greatest Table by Michael J. Rosen, illustrated by Becca Statlander. The greatest table isn't set inside a single home. Oh no, it spans the continents and no one eats alone. The table in your dining room, a picnic bench, a tray, a beach blanket, breakfast in bed, a small sidewalk cafe. The midway at a county fair, a shelter amid a storm a roadside tent, a campfire site where families share the warmth. Each one is just another leaf and one uncommon table where all the guests have cooked or baked or brought what they are able. Where all of us can help ourselves and all of us are fed and no one has been turned away with only rice or bread. The greatest table, like a tree, is growing leaf by leaf and broadening its canopy to welcome more beneath. Its tablecloth is flowering and covers every lap with untold fruits that ripen right here its roots, a global map. Whatever is grown is plentiful and raised with humane care, so generations far from ours will have an earth to share. The tide as well are table leaves, a feast wholly submersed, and streams and ponds all team with life, where all can quench their thirst. And always in the company, there's someone we can toast. An elder, an infant, long-lost friend, a sudden guest, the host. And you should hear the grace that said, it's not a single prayer, the thankfulness in Every face is more than words can share. The next time you sit down to eat, the greatest table set, connecting you with each of us who hasn't eaten yet. So if you're hungry, join us here. Pull up another chair. We'll all scoot over, make more room. There's always some to spare. There is an old saying, when you have more than you need, build a longer table, not a higher wall. An injustice work, we talk about making room at the table. But I wonder, what does that mean to you? And is that really all that's needed? <laughs>